Beyond Filter by Jade. Jade. Welcome to the Unfiltered by Jade, where we get out of the box and dive into topics that are sidelined. I look forward to entertain, educate, and inspire. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, donate, and make everybody know about this. Beats by RB Records, a proud sponsor of the Unfiltered by Jade. Shopping assistance Jamaica takes the stress away. Our services include online and local shopping in Jamaica for individuals and businesses, personal shopping, purchasing of company and office supplies, importing and exporting small packages across Jamaica and worldwide, helping you to find unique gifts and items for all events and occasions. Contact us at 876-919-5195. Five. Shopping Assistance 2015 at gmail.com. Follow Shopping Assistance on Instagram at Shopping Assist JA, at Twitter at Shopping Assist 5, and Facebook at The Shopping Assistance. Shopping Assistance, your style, your budget. Welcome to the Unfiltered by Jade. Today we have. Nicole, and she is here to talk to us about dating as a single mom. Hello, Nicole. Hello. How are you, Jade? I am good. And how are you? I am wonderful. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, I mean, we have so many questions. I have so many questions to ask. And I want to let the audience know that you have a podcast called Single Mommy Fabulous. Yes. The podcast. Yes. You can tell them about it, please. So Single Mommy Fabulous, the podcast is, uh, was born out of my blog, mm -hmm. um, where I talk about single motherhood, dating, relationships. I talk about it all. I cannot wait to talk to your listeners. I bet you they have a lot of <laughs> questions for crazy single parents like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is gonna be fun All right. All right. so let's jump right into it okay when did you start dating as a single mom or when is it that you decided that it was time for you to go back out there yeah i waited i um I was separated from my husband and pregnant and i came home and hold on hold on hold on hold on yeah so you were separated from your husband and pregnant and pregnant. Yes. So I did the single mom thing by myself from the beginning. Wow. Um, so yeah. And uh, so I took about two and a half years for myself and my daughter where it, nobody came between us. It was me and her. Okay. Um, and then eventually I was like, you know what? I think that I'm ready to date. I think that I want some company other than this person who can barely talk. Right. So, <laughs> so uh, I started dating again. And of course you start with, well, I started by dating an ex, which I, I never recommend, but. Um, oh, okay, okay. Oh, you started dating an ex. No man, this is, this is too much. <laughs> well, I really did. I started by dating an ex and he was actually the ex that I, dumped to marry my husband so it was oh, all Jesus, messy, so, messy. <laughs> so, so messy uh of me but uh <laughs> after i did that i um i got back on because i wasn't working i got back on you know the dating apps and started dating that way um and then i got really good what i like about it is that i got really good at filtering out people who were either catfish or that just wouldn't suit my interests even if i started talking to them like i would right. start talking to them and about 15 minutes into just a typewritten conversation i'd be like oh we're not going to get along so Ooh. i would just be like you know it was great meeting you but um i don't think this is going to work yeah, and I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just instead of always, wasting time yeah 
exactly. You want to be as honest to me. And this is my philosophy. Be as honest as you can and genuine as you can in those first moments when you're Mm. just talking to starting to talk to somebody, because if they're anything like me, they're really paying attention to you and they want to see where you are in your life and if they like you. And if so, if you're not being forthcoming, you're not going to get the best result is okay. th- this is just my philosophy. No, and that, I mean, I mean, it's a good philosophy. Actually, I go by that also. Yeah. So, um, you know, dating is dating is dating. I mean, it's been I've been dating now for about six and a half years. I don't believe you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's tough out there. I mean, well, let me pause for a second because I've had some some interesting relationships um, in between time. I had oh, a I've five-year... listened to your podcast. So I know. Yeah, you know about my five-year relationship mm-hmm. with someone who never called me his girlfriend um, mm-hmm. until, the, until the end, and then the... I don't even understand that. I was listening to the podcast and I was like, "What the hell? He has never called you girlfriend." No. And I mean, it's like he went, okay. So this is what always baffled me, right? I didn't even talk about this part on my podcast, but what baffled me most is he said, as soon as he met me, he went home and said, mom, I met this girl and she is. And so this was sort of the same thing that happened when my ex-husband and I got together. He went home immediately and said, Hey mom, guess who I met? And so I'm thinking, Oh my God. Yay. I Mm -hmm. thought, five years i just kind of i don't understand how you're in this for five years well you know what let's us you know <laughs> <laughs> i know it baffles it even baffles he loved my daughter mm. and i think that that was the biggest thing is because they had the best relationship and i was not um you know how you have that well, you know how single, uh, I don't know if you know, but like single mothers have this guilt, right? Because we, and it's silly because we're great people and we raise our kids and we're, we end up with great children, but we, for some reason, feel like we're depriving them of something sometimes yes. when mm-hmm. they don't have a father. And so I was like, this guy is a great father figure and he treats me pretty good and let's see where it goes. But I don't um. know why I did it for five years. I can never tell you, but... <laughs> Um, it may be for that exact reason, actually. It, and it may, yeah, it may be because I felt like she needed that. Maybe I felt like she needed that void filled more than I needed to have the kind of relationship that I wanted. And I had to untrain my brain and say, oh. you know what? We're both important. And even, you know, so of course my daughter is really important in my decision making when I'm having a relationship. Right. Um, but the thing is, don't neglect myself in right. favor of her so yes. we have to have a mesh it's got to be like this guy can work for both of us and if he doesn't well they both then pff, why why yeah why? yeah yeah speaking of your daughter have you spoken to her about you wanting to be in her how is how old is your daughter no she just turned nine just turned nine you have had that discussion with her i you know i have weird dis- I don't, you know i we have the weirdest discussions i i can't say that i've actually asked her about it she is very intuitive okay. so she'll know when i really like someone mm, okay. so, yeah because you guys are really close yes and yes. so the person that i'm dating now she knows that i like them and she calls me on it all the time but we don't really discuss it because well, I'm still in where it's still new and it's, um, I, I don't know. I'm not ready to talk. Yeah. About yeah. That. Yeah. Understood, understood. Understood. Yeah. So how has dating been? <laughs> it has, uh, I'm sorry for the deep breath. It's no, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it has been pretty crazy. I think COVID has been the craziest period of my dating life. Um, mm. and I heard so, it. Yes, I heard. I heard that episode. You heard also. that. So <laughs> yes. I, uh, but now you know. It also taught me a lot. Like what I, I, I've learned that I was dating wrong, right? So 
I had to stop with the, there are things in me where I um, enjoy comfort and familiarity and the routine. And because of that, it sometimes translates into my dating life as I'm going to stick it out with this person because I know what's coming. Mm. And it's, it's not good. Um, uh, that's all I can say. I have <laughs> Yeah. Um, but other, I've learned to, I'm not going to go out with people that I just sort of like when okay. I'm talking to them um, anymore. I'm not going to entertain second dates with people that um, it, it kind of works, but I already know that there's something. It's not going to work. Them. Yeah. it's not gonna work mm -hmm. right and i because i will do that sometimes i don't do that anymore um and to kind of look for somebody who is my equal everybody says that that's the key right and but you have to learn it for yourself it's not that you don't want what's best for yourself and but honestly you have to know yourself so sometimes you have to do a self-evaluation who am i where am i in my life what do i want to attract who do i want to be with and that was what happened with covid is i went out with quite a few people oddly you know I, online or you know we met socially distanced or whatever but right i learned really quickly it, it it's almost a blessing to my dating life right because mm. i'm like Mm, no no don't do it again girl no just yeah don't go mm -mm. yeah just pass them by and so this current relationship that i'm in that's not official um <laughs> we have a good story for you on that one but i have a really good story for you um but he's really great and it's because um i was a military brat i've traveled a lot this gentleman, he is from another country. He travels a lot. He has done some, uh, he works for public, in, in a public capacity capacity like I do. Um, and he is always learning, which I find fascinating. Like, because he's learning and I'm helping him because English is his second language, I'm helping him with his schoolwork. I'm learning all sorts nice. of things. Nice, so very nice. It's great i feel nice. amazing um nice. in this particular relationship and i hope this may be my last one really i pray yes, yes i pray for that <laughs> because I'm, I'm like i really like you um but so to the funny story because i always have a funny story so yeah uh what was it this weekend he calls me and i'm like hey how's it going he's like oh it's good he's like i he's like oh you want to go on a vacation and i'm like yeah i want to get out of here and he's like i'm not sure you know i don't think i want to travel i said well you know in september i have to travel i have to go back to new york because my uh cousin's getting married and he's like oh your cousin's getting married oh can i come with you to the wedding i was like sure um okay okay whatever <laughs> he's like and how are you going to introduce me to your family this mm. and i'm like this is my friend <laughs> wow. you know and and i feel like he was like wow that's it exactly. <laughs> he wanted more he wanted a title right and i'm like I, i'm not used to giving <laughs> titles what's going on here because he wants a title no oh i'm like <laughs> and i so I do miss cues. I really do. I'm like, and it's like, woo. <laughs> that one went right through. It went right <laughs> over my head. And so, you know, I, I did turn it around on him. I'm like, how, well, what do you want me to call you? I mean, I'll call you late for dinner if that's what you want, but <laughs> tell me what you want. And of course I got nothing, but, um, <laughs> I screwed up on that on that one. I probably should have put the uh, said what I want, but he's been very straightforward from the beginning, and I think that that's really good. When we met, he said, "What is it that you want in a relationship?" And I said, Ooh. "Wow, I've never asked. I've never one. I've never asked that question. Two, Ooh. I've never answered this question. So I'm like, okay." And so he says, "This is what I think you want." And he goes on to tell me he thinks I want to get married and have another kid. And I'm just like, okay, first of all, 
I don't want to, I don't know if I want to get married again. And I definitely don't want any more kids, but mm. you know, um, maybe that's his goal because then I turn around and I ask him, cause this is what frustrates me about him. How come I can ask you a question and you never answer, but you can tell me what you think I th am thinking, but you won't <laughs> answer me. It is annoying. Um, but I also know that I mean a lot to him. It's right. just, we communicate differently. And, yeah. you know, I, I, mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, I can't, I, I, I realize that hearing, hearing it, I realize it's just not to know how to meet in the middle. Yeah. So someday I, I, I hope, you know, I pray I'm like, you know what? And I, now I'm just, I just keep asking him the same question. I'm like, okay, someday you're going to answer me because I'm not going to be the only one giving answers right now. Okay? <laughs> he's, he's probably will tell you actually what he wants, what he told you you want. Probably that's what he wants actually. Oh yeah, I I believe you because you know uh, it's kind of funny you say that because he said, what did he say? He said, "What happens if while we're dating you you got pregnant?" And I'm thinking, "Oh no, that's not going to happen." This is what I'm thinking in my head, <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, we're standing outside. I can see the Bay Bridge. I'm like, I'm going to jump off that bridge." No, right uh -uh. and, uh -uh. like, <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> and, and he's just like what and i'm like i'm gonna jump off that he's like no. or not and i'm like okay i'm like i'm exaggerating but honestly i'm like i really don't see wanting to have a child and it's not because and it is like but you wouldn't get rid of it and i'm like no and i'm like i'm thinking to myself we're both christian people here honey, mm -hmm. and i don't believe in that right. and i'm sure that you don't mm -hmm. and so no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to get rid of it, nor am I going to jump over, off the bridge. I am right. being ridiculous. Right. But I'm like, you know, I think sometimes I'm avoiding, you're you're helping me see that I avoid questions. So yes. that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, so pros and cons of dating as a single mom. When I was reading up, I was in some research uh -huh. about single mom and you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. And I realized for single moms, as you said earlier, cause you, you did answer some of these questions before. If it is that, um, you, you want to ensure that the person that you're with is they're okay with your daughter. Mm -hmm. If there's a situation that you meet someone and they say, no, I don't want to date anybody with kids. Well, obviously I'm not the one for you because you have kids. Mm -hmm. um, if it is that they're not good with kids, um, you can't date them. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you would probably say if something happens, if you're on a date and something happens to your daughter, you're leaving that date to go to your daughter. Absolutely. So the person who you're with has to know that they'll never really come first. Your child will always come first. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's a delicate balance. I yes. mean, when we first met, and I'm going to use him as an example because he is right now who's on my mind. But that's fine. Um, when we first met, uh, I found out he had a daughter. We both have a daughter. We both have kids. They're this about the same age. Um, but he was kind of I, I felt like he had more freedom than me because he was like, I like to just get up and go on trips. And I'm thinking, I'm not going anywhere. Like, mm -hmm. because for me i need to prioritize my daughter while i do have the most support and i will say i am supported very well as a single mother and have okay. people to watch my child it doesn't mean that i want to put that on them right, right. so balancing that can be tricky it is having men and i've noticed that it's not only him it's lots of men um that they don't understand that as a mother as a caretaker we will think of our child's needs ahead of our own and say you know what you've got to give me some plans and if you can't give me plans and if that's a problem for you then we can't be together because and you know i stand firm on that i'm always yes. like she needs she will at one point be 16 17 years old where she can stay home for a day or two by herself yes. but at this point in her life i am in control of what happens so i need to be here yes um and so that's that's been the biggest i think takeaway is i would say don't date anybody who doesn't understand that. Yes. Like it, there's no point. 
you're just going to frustrate yourself because you're going to feel pulled in two different directions. Yes. Um, you have to. And so be upfront about it. That's, that's it. Just, Hey, this child comes first when they're older, we can re we can revisit what yes. I just said. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and both you and the child, you're a package. So you can't get one person and not get the other person. Absolutely. Yeah. You cannot, you couldn't get us apart with nothing. Yeah, there's no way. I don't <laughs> think persons understand that though. When they're dating someone with kids, um, they come, they come together. You get me? Yeah. I, I don't know why, but I think they believe, okay, if I'm dating you, we, we can still have sleepovers. We can still go out anytime we feel like going out. These things can happen. And they really can't because no, you can't have sleepovers when I have a baby and I have to go home to that baby. If it right. is that, if it is that as a mom, I'm just getting up and going out and doing whatever I'm doing. It means I'm not responsible. Do you want to be with somebody who is not a responsible mom? <laughs> right like if this was let's pretend my kid is your kid would you want me leaving the kid at home in bed while i go hang out with you let exactly. you know let me know if that's let, who you are let, let, really exactly don't. exactly <laughs> let's exactly some some of these conversations we should have with the persons that we're serious about so that they can know where we're at um yeah. if anything is supposed to happen and you know, we don't work out or if anything's supposed to happen and my child does not like you, I cannot continue being with you. Is that a conversation that you think you can have or you will have? Oh, I, yeah, for sure. I have not actually come across that yet, which I'm grateful for. But <laughs> uh, if I did, I would, you gotta go, dude. Like, I, psh, my child's smile makes my day. It unbreaks my heart. It makes me smile. It makes me want to dance. And yes. if you try to take that away from her because she doesn't like you or you guys, are, we're going to have a problem. So I, I, I would never, I, I, I know that I could be like, okay, I'm pretty good at just walking away when I'm resolute. Mm. What, what are, what, what do you think are some of the other things that we can have conversations with persons who it is that we're going to go out on a date with? Because say we're, say you're introducing or you're being introduced to someone initially and you're telling them, Hey, well, I'm a mom, I'm so-and-so. And they said, okay, can we go? Can we hang out? What are some of the, the things you look for to say, okay, we're compatible or we're not compatible with each other? I think first it's just respect for time. Okay. Um, and I can have that conversation with anyone is like, if you don't respect my time, then you don't respect me. Okay. Um, so that's one thing you really have to be clear with people about is your time is precious. You are giving your extra bit of time that you really don't have. Um, uh, you could have slipped. Yeah. Done all sorts of stuff with it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I definitely would have loved to sleep, you know. Um, I love <laughs> So that's one. Um, the other thing is being compatible, I think, with your religious beliefs and are is very important. Um, sometimes people discount the fact that um being a believer and non-believer, I, oh, okay, I can, I can hang out with this person, but sometimes it, it's not worth the price of admission. No. Um, because you find out that when you compromise that, there are some moral issues that come with it. Yes. Um, and so you really should look for someone whose re religious beliefs are compatible with your own. Yes. Um, and having that conversation, is it going to bother you that um, I go to church? Is it going to bother you that I do Bible study? Is it going to bother you that I pray before I eat? Um, yes. I know, you know, I don't, I don't think people actually sit and think about that though. They don't. No, no. You, they, and honestly, I, I didn't think about it that much until I um, dated a Muslim gentleman. <gasps> And, Sorry, and it's okay. it's okay. The the good thing about him in general, I mean, I've only dated one. And, okay. and this particular one in general, 
he was okay with my beliefs. Um, and it was because he had a child and his child was a Christian because of his, their mother. So um, it, it, it was, it wasn't, there was no delicate balance to be had. And we kind of learned about each other's religions. And so now I can kind of see, I've seen a little bit of what his religion is like, not that I would convert, but I get it. Yeah. Um, yes. So I think that that was, that was good. Um, but I also think that I wouldn't want to do that again um, okay. because he's, you know, he is a moderate Muslim where he is Americanized and whatever else and um, and accepting of others beliefs. However, that's not necessarily um, how others feel. So, mm. I, you know, it's like, yeah, let me let me let's not do that again. Um, <laughs> and, yeah. Um, have a conversation about really what you're looking for and what you want at the beginning you know like i know that as women we think we're gonna scare away a guy because we say that we want to have a long-term relationship or we want to get married or but it's okay because you know what what happens when that person runs away somebody else comes somebody else comes and Mm -hmm. it it, it's not the end of the world that you think it is in the moment you know take a breath you know think about it reevaluate how you're dating then start again don't be afraid to say well all right i really like this person and it sucks that they're gone but i'm gonna move out of this headspace and fine-tune what i'm looking for the next time um And then just finally, my biggest thing is being open and honest. You know, like um, I have a a pretty big secret that I keep to myself until I know a guy pretty well um, because I've had men run away from me because of it. And it's not even really my secret. It's just how my marriage ended and and it's it's all of it that it encompasses and i'm not gonna come out to you and be like hey you know so my ex-husband this is what he did and this is why we're not together and don't talk about exes that's the other thing but honestly you know there are some things that you keep to yourself until you know somebody but yes but don't talk about your exes and if you meet a guy who talks a lot about his ex on the first couple of dates, that's sometimes a warning sign. Understand yeah, but why, why, why would they come on the first dates to be talking about their exes? So. Girl, if you only knew. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> if you only knew. I mean, I listen to men talk about their exes and go, and you know what comes out of my mouth? Do you like women? Yeah. Oh, wow. And they mm. look at me like, what? And I'm like, the way that you're talking about that female offends me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know her, don't like or dislike her, but the words that are coming out of your mouth are offensive. Yes. And um, I'm wondering if you like women. Do you like your mother? I mean, I want to know who you like, because if this mm-hmm. is how you talk about somebody that you were with, mm-hmm. without imagine, it- imagine how he was talking with you. Uh, exactly so you like listening to what men say about exes is critical in my opinion because if they cannot constructively tell you that she wasn't the one for them um because and it could be a devastating thing she could be a cheater she could have beat him up i you know it anything could have happened right Mm -hmm. but if he's using the b word to describe her constantly one time i may forgive you you say it 12 times i'm worried about you yes 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 because you should have some respect for women to know that i am still a woman yes and what are you thinking about me when i walk away yes exactly what you said it's Mm -hmm. like you know so um and i and because i'm such an empath and i i want to help everybody i sometimes tend to baby them at first and then i go wait nope you're getting the full treatment you need to Uh know that Uh i appreciate this and 
if you want to talk to me, we will talk to talk about her in a constructive way and yes. how you get over it so that you're not going to probably date me because I'm running. Yeah. But let I me, can help you. <laughs> I can help you do better with the next woman because I don't think you're going to still date somebody and I don't want you to hurt her. Mm. You know, yeah. so you, people need to, you know, we all have baggage and it's sometimes hard to check it at the door. Mm-hmm. Not going to lie. But check a little bit at the, of it at the door and think about the way that you talk. And I, that goes for us as women as well. Yes, yes. I like that. Yes. Yeah. We can't go into a relationship spilling all our baggage, our underwear are on the floor and yep. expect them to pick them up and be like, these are the greatest dirty underwear I've ever seen. Yeah. that was, <laughs> Yes, no. yes, yes. No. Yes, man. You agree. know, so, so loving ourselves enough to put out things that aren't nasty is very important ah i love that yeah i love that yes do you think do you think um it is harder for a single mom to actually date than you know just a single person dating is as a single person i didn't care like i like honestly i was very wild i clubbed every night so dating as a single person was a sport (laughs) <laughs> more for me um where it was just kind of like okay i'm gonna be your, your friend for and and i didn't want anything serious so i was very clear on what i wanted um i think as a single mother it is a little bit more complicated because one you're thinking about yourself but then you're thinking about your child or children right yes and you're thinking about how long you know Am, am I dating for sport? Am I dating to date? Or am I dating because I really want to find somebody? And so there are a lot more, you put a lot more thought into it. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, a good example is, how do I want to interact with this person on the phone? When I'm single, I can do whatever. I can have any kind of conversation. If I wanted to send racy photos, I could right yes, that's no yes. problem right well no you have a not child. as not you not when you have a child even if you lock that thing i don't care they can all get in your phone yes so yes so <laughs> you know what i'm saying be prepared to understand that they are going to want to be involved because they love you mm-hmm. um and there's nothing wrong with that right um they they kind of do have a say not a huge say but yeah they're they're gonna want to know and you have to balance that delicately you know Mm. um like i said my daughter is very smart she's intuitive she knows this new guy means something to me and she says so is he your boyfriend no they know things they They know know things things, okay yeah so you have to be honest no he's not but i like hanging out with him and yes i'm gonna go out for with him from time to time and okay so when am i gonna meet him well you know what it's really not the time for that yet sweetheart um because you're also balancing the fact that you're bringing somebody else into their life that may leave yes yes you don't want to you don't want to have that constant where you keep on bringing different persons into their lives like that yeah my sister and i actually had a conversation about it recently Mm -hmm. about uh the men that come in and out of our lives when we have single mothers as um parents so right you know my mom dated and i can only remember one that heart that gave me heartbreak right um but i said oh yeah yeah i'm fine i'm I'm over it my sister says are you and i'm like I think so. <laughs> like, I really think so. But honestly, and I love that she's older than me and she's a really smart lady and she sometimes checks me because I'm like, maybe I'm not as over it as I think I am. And maybe Aww. she. there is a point to, you know, I, I don't really introduce my daughter to a lot of people that I date. Yeah. But um, yeah, maybe there's a point to not having her know people. It's just, you know can I just say to you and it'd be okay that yes, I'm going out on a date and no, it's not time and you be okay. And I think that that has to be a conversation you have with your child. Yes. You know, yes. Um, 
And so I did. And it was not the deepest conversation. I but mean, it, that sometimes they really don't need to know that deep. Yeah. <laughs> but exactly. I mean, because they see mommy going out, I'm going out with somebody. I mean, they're going to want to know. Yeah. Exactly. They're going to want to know. But I mean, you not you not sharing that much or letting them meet the person is really protecting them. They probably don't know it yet, but it's you really protecting them. Yeah, exactly. And I think that that's, um, that's the dance you do. I think that's the hardest part of the dance is uh, just making sure your kids are on a need to know basis and not give overwhelming them and um, not putting your relationship on them, you know, because Mm -hmm. when like the guy for, for five years, um, they still have a great relationship and I have not put an end to it because I don't see the point. He's a nice person. Okay. Um, we just don't work right but he really cares about her and he still really cares about me and i still really care about him but it's not that kind of relationship we're friends he developed a really close relationship with her and i'm like great i'm glad that you guys can still maintain some connection and it works for both of you that doesn't always work for everybody right Right. yeah it's not to work for everybody Mm -hmm. right and so but it worked for him and her and so i'm like you know what this is unconventional i'm sure that i'll have to explain it to some man oh yes oh yes You know, I'm like, uh, hey, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to let them have their relationship. Yes. Until it's not good for anybody. Yes. And and she may grow to be. She may, she may not. Oh, yeah. I I, I think she definitely will. Because now, you know, he was like, she doesn't call me anymore. I'm like, she's nine, man. I'm like, she's half out the door. She's nine going on 18. Don't worry uh-huh. about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. That probably soon. It's soon. See right away. Yeah. Little by little, little by little. So nothing to really worry about, right there. Exactly. Yeah, but I can tell you, I really do love your personality. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I love how blunt you are and how transparent you are. I mean, I, I, you know, we don't really want to be dating just for dating purposes anymore. We actually know what you want, mm-hmm. so it really makes no sense to continue um hoarding people or keeping people just because we want to date you know yes absolutely yeah yeah i I love your perspective on it so we are at the end of it okay it came and went so fast Uh, yes it did (laughs) Ah, no you're amazing (laughs) oh thank you you are amazing you are amazing (laughs) let's let the audience know where to find you your Instagram handle and anywhere else. Okay, so my Instagram handle is Single Mommy Fabulous. And if you want to catch my podcast, we are on Podbean at Single Mommy Fabulous, the podcast. And you can download it at Spotify or anywhere else you get your podcast. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much again for being on the podcast. And thank you guys for listening to The Unfiltered by Jade. And we'll definitely be here again next week, Tuesday. Bam, bam,